Today, Epic Games finally revealed the Unreal Engine pricing model with the upcoming update. It was announced last year at Unreal Fest in New Orleans that starting from 2024, Unreal Engine would no longer be free for some industries. Hi there, Post Processes here and welcome back to my channel. A few months ago, I made a video about the announcement of this new pricing model, voicing my thoughts who will be affected by the upcoming pricing policy update. My guess was that it will only affect automotive, film and architectural companies, not anyhow affecting the individual artists or creators. So I was right. And it seems that Tim Sweeney didn't lie to us when he said it will be free for individuals just like you and me here. Now let's have a look at the Unreal Engine updated pricing policy. This new policy will be effective late April with the Unreal Engine 5.4 update. If you are currently using Unreal Engine 5.3 or any other prior versions, pricing changes will not apply to you until you decide to update to 5.4. Also pricing changes will not affect new and existing users who are still using Unreal Engine 5.3 or any prior version. This policy only will apply to the users using Unreal Engine 5.4 or later. And it will only affect companies generating over $1 million in annual gross revenue who are not creating games. These companies include post-production houses, CGI houses, live broadcast news and any other like automotive and architectural companies. So if you create linear content, for example films and television shows, architectural visualization, graphics for broadcast and live events, your products incorporate Unreal Engine code at runtime and are not licensed to third party, for example product configurators used either internally or externally, such as car configurators for example, which you can find on the car manufacturer websites, for example Porsche has the one on their website. This is considered a software which is not licensed to a third party. Immersive experiences that are not sold directly to individual users, such as theme park rides and interactive architectural walkthroughs. But I still have a question, is it possible to calculate that this company made particular revenue from using Unreal Engine? Let's take a look at the typical post-production house I used to work for. This company can generate hundreds of million dollars of revenue from compositing, CGI, Houdini simulations and other types of services on dozens of projects. And if Unreal Engine was used only on one of the projects, should the company pay an annual subscription? And well, the answer is yes. Your company will need to pay for seats if you meet all of the following criteria. You are a company that generates over $1 million in annual gross revenue. You do not create games and you do not create applications that are licensed to third-party end users and rely on Unreal Engine code at the runtime, which is basically considered a game at this point. In that case, your company needs to pay for a yearly license, which is just $1,850 per seat. Well, to be honest, it's not so much and if you're considering that you are making over $1 million revenue per year, I find it fair. But on the other hand, companies that are rarely using Unreal Engine probably will just stop using it completely and go back to other 3D software where they already have their license plan covered. Or they just can keep using Unreal Engine 5.3. But what are the benefits for the companies of using this subscription? You are not only getting the service and support, but with this subscription you are getting something more. Epic Games announced that you will also get Twinmotion, which is $445 per seat, and Reality Capture, which costs $1250 per year. And now you get all in one package. Regarding pricing for game developers, nothing has changed. It is still a 5% royalty of revenue if your game surpasses the threshold of $1 million in sales, so this update in pricing will not affect them in any way. And what about individual artists like you and me? You can still freely use Unreal Engine for R&D, cinematics and your personal projects. Well, I don't know any people who are doing over $1 million revenue per year as a freelancer, working in Unreal Engine. So it feels like Epic Games tries to avoid mistakes that Unity made and is making the right decisions to keep game devs on their side and to keep attracting people who would like to learn Unreal. So feel free to continue using it, advancing your skills and doing your own Unreal stuff. It is a very promising engine to work with and get a great job in game or film industry. Learning Unreal Engine actually helped me to leave my previous shitty job and get into movie industry and create all this fascinating commercials and tutorials for you here on YouTube. But that's a story for another time. Hope this video was helpful, you can find all the links down in the description below. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.